यस सो आज के एजेंडा में क्या था क्या करना है हमें मैम एसपीएल एसपीएल करना है कौन सा वाला चैप्टर फैसिलिटीज ओके सोशल मार्जिनलाइजेशन कर लिया हमें पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज देखना है ओके अच्छा पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज से क्या समझते हो मैम पब्लिक की जो नीड होती है जैसे गुड वाटर ड्रिंकिंग के लिए और क्लीन सराउंडिंग इलेक्ट्रिसिटी और uh, और कुछ देखो पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज से हम बेसिकली वो समझते हैं जो कि पूरी पब्लिक के लिए होती है इट इज नॉट पर्सनल एंड व्हाट डू यू थिंक हु शुड बी रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज गवर्नमेंट गवर्नमेंट भाई गवर्नमेंट है हम उसे इलेक्ट कर रहे हैं हम उन्हें बता रहे हैं हमारी नीड्स क्या है तो फिर हम क्या करेंगे कि हम गवर्नमेंट को टैक्स देते हैं गवर्नमेंट उस टैक्स के पैसे से हम सभी के लिए कुछ पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज क्रिएट करती हैं अच्छा जरा धड़ाधड़ एक एक करके जो लोग नहीं बोलते हैं मोस्टली क्लास में एक्सेप्शन बता रही हूँ मेरे को उनको छोड़ के बाकी लोगों से जवाब चाहिए अध्याशा अक्षत अक्षिता प्रांजल मोनिका पूजा इन्हें छोड़ के मुझे बाकी के लोग कोई भी बताएंगे नन, अनंदिनी भी छोड़ दो चलो बाकी के लोग बताएंगे कोई सी भी एक पब्लिक फैसिलिटी एक एक करके बताओ चलो गुड सैनिटेशन सैनिटेशन ठीक है और इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी ठीक है देवा मैम गुड वाटर रिसोर्स वेरी गुड हम्म और कौन है कृष्णा बताओ एक फैसिलिटी बताओ मुझे पब्लिक फैसिलिटी गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल गवर्नमेंट हॉस्पिटल वेरी गुड मोनिका मोनिका सार्थक बताओ एक पब्लिक फैसिलिटी बताओ सार्थक एक पब्लिक फैसिलिटी बताओ जागो क्लास में मेंटली प्रेजेंट रहो लॉग इन करके इधर उधर मत भाग जाया करो श्रेयांश एक पब्लिक फैसिलिटी बताइए श्रेयांश सार्थक मीटिंग में है या नहीं है अगर मीटिंग में है तो तुरंत जवाब दो मैम गुड वाटर मैम गुड वाटर सप्लाई थोड़ा जोर से बोलो मैम गुड वाटर सप्लाई वाटर सप्लाई हो गया दूसरा बताओ मैम इलेक्ट्रिसिटी इलेक्ट्रिसिटी भी हो गया मैम हेल्थ केयर हेल्थ केयर ठीक है ट्रेन पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट यस पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट सारे पब्लिक ट्रांसपोर्ट ट्रेन बसेस बट ट्रेन इसलिए क्योंकि ट्रेन प्राइवेट नहीं चलती हैं सोनली पब्लिक फैसिलिटी और hmm. 
schools and hmm ma'am school and colleges educational institute jo government ke educational institutes hain matlab tumhe ek idea lag raha hai ki sarkari cheeze jo hain वो ही बेसिकली पब्लिक फैसिलिटीज मानी जाती हैं थोड़ा सा हम एक बार लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट टाटा क्लास एज व्हाट इट हैज टू से अबाउट दिस और इसमें गवर्नमेंट का रोल क्या है बहुत इजी चैप्टर है बहुत ही इजी चैप्टर है बस यही है समझ जाना चाहिए इसके अंदर कुछ केस स्टडी दिए हुए हैं केस स्टडी क्या होते हैं एक पर्टिकुलर एग्जाम्पल को लेके उसके बेसिस पर हम लोग जो है कोई थ्योरी बनाते हैं तो वो केस स्टडीज हम देख लेते हैं India undoubtedly has wonderful treasures the Taj Mahal the Jama Masjid and the Golden Temple are a few examples that's true however what really bothers me is the lack of public amenities to help the country develop the government must provide essential public amenities this will provide the people with better facilities and also lead to economic development tell me if you had to choose which would be the first five amenities that you would provide to the people That's easy. First and foremost would be provision for clean drinking water and availability of sufficient nutritious food. Next on my priority list would be better health and sanitation facilities. Lastly, I would provide proper waste management to keep the country clean. I would have also chosen these. but from where does the government get the money to provide these facilities the government gets the money from the taxes it collects from the people that's true the taxes are used for the benefit of the people themselves the government has also started many schemes which were welfare of the people like the food for work program or the jawahar gram and samriddhi yojana although these facilities are provided by the government it is the duty of the people to ensure that they are maintained an important aspect which we must not forget is to treat public property with care as it belongs to all of us look at the headline in the newspaper talks about water shortage in different parts of the country did you know that the major rivers and their tributaries make up a large network of rivers in india then why do we face water shortage it's because of the ever increasing population and dependency on rainfall let's look at the water situation across the country Rajasthan is one of the largest states in India. People living in villages here have to travel long distances to obtain water. This is because the natural water bodies here have dried up. The government has set up 
rural water supply systems for villages. The maintenance and operation of these systems is given low priority, leaving villages without water for most part of the year. Did you know in Rajasthan, drought-like situation prevails in 26 districts out of 32? The situation is not too different in urban areas. New Delhi, the capital of India, faces water crisis too. The situation is getting worse in New Delhi as the Delhi Jal Board, the body responsible for water supply in the capital, is not able to meet the increasing demand. People in cities purchase water at exorbitant prices from private water suppliers. Some people dig bore wells and tube wells to access the underground water. Other cities also face a similar situation. Some areas of Bangalore receive water twice a week. Bhopal receive water only for 30 minutes a day. In Chennai, 250 tankers make 2,250 trips to supply water. Some areas of Mumbai has water cuts from January to June. And some areas of Hyderabad get water once in three days. The rich and the poor both suffer due to water shortage. However, the rich are able to manage the crisis by paying a high price and obtaining water from other sources. But what about the poor? Lack of water leads to sanitation problems and makes them more vulnerable to diseases. Did you know? What a bumpy ride. It will take us double the time to reach the picnic spot. Salma, how do the people living here travel on these roads? Why can't the roads in the villages be like those in cities? Suresh, aren't our villages like this? Without proper roads, electricity, water supply and what not. But aren't the basic needs of the people in the villages the same as those in the city? Yes, children. Like roads, there are other basic needs such as water, healthcare facilities, electricity and schools to name a few which are common to all humans. And our constitution says that the basic needs of each individual should be provided for under the right to life. So, who do you think will provide facilities like clean drinking water, sanitation and drainage, clearing of garbage from the surrounding, especially to those who cannot afford to pay. Shouldn't it be the government? Why is the government responsible for providing facilities? 
private companies take up work which is profitable for them. Even the task of providing public facilities will be taken up with the motive of making a profit. This will make the facility expensive. The poor who cannot afford to pay will be then deprived of the basic facilities. Okay, like constructing roads in the villages or laying down water pipelines in the slums will not accrue any profit as the poor can't pay for them. Exactly. Since the government does not operate for profit, it provides these facilities to everyone and everywhere. So even the common man can easily avail them. Even though they can't afford them, do you think that the poor too have a right to fulfill their needs? Of course they do. But how does the government make these facilities available to citizens? Who funds them? In a democratic country such as India, people pay tax to the government. The government provides and maintains public facilities through this tax money. At times, the government may hire private companies to provide some public facilities. For example, private contractors are hired to construct roads and flyovers. In such cases, the government closely monitors the activities of the contractors to ensure that they work according to regulations and standards and the taxes paid by the people are utilized properly. But why will the private companies agree to work for the government? The government either pays the companies for their work or allows the companies to collect toll. The funds collected are used to maintain the flyovers or highways. Thus, the government undertakes the responsibility of ensuring that basic public facilities are provided to all citizens of the country. We have finally reached the picnic spot. Let's rush. Remember, it is the duty of citizens like us to ensure that we use the facilities provided with responsibility. Any questions, anyone? It was a very straightforward, very simple, very clear chapter. In this case, you have a case study. If you open it once, you will see it in the future. It will come to you better. That what happens when public facilities are privatized? Basically, it happens that what are the public facilities? Tax raise and then they are given to you. Private facilities are for profit. If you are working for profit, you can give better quality, but you cannot provide it for everyone. Any questions, anyone? Let's see the next chapter. Law and, uh, na, law and social justice. लॉ हम बहुत अच्छे से पढ़ चुके हैं जुडिशरी कैसे वर्क करती है लॉ का क्या प्रोसीजर है अब उसकी बात है कि लॉ का जो एप्लीकेशन है वो कैसे होना चाहिए आपने लॉ क्रिएट कर लिया लेकिन क्या वो हर किसी के फायदे में जा रहा है
we all are aware of the world's worst industrial tragedy which took place 24 years ago in India in the city of Bhopal in Madhya Pradesh. It is the Bhopal gas tragedy. What was the reason for this disaster? What were its consequences? This incident took place at midnight on 2nd December 1984 at the Union Carbide UC factory, an American company's pesticide producing factory located in the city of Bhopal. The incident happened due to the leakage of methyl isocyanide, a highly poisonous gas. Within three days, more than 8,000 people had lost their lives. Blacks developed physical disabilities. Many of those who survived were too sick to work. All those exposed to the gas developed severe respiratory disorders and eye problems. It has also caused physical and mental abnormalities, especially amongst children. Most of the people who were exposed to the poisonous gas belonged to the poor working class families. A large number were laborers in the factory. The main cause of the disaster was found to be lack of appropriate working conditions and lackadaisical attitude of the Union Carbide Company towards safety measures for employees. The Bhopal gas tragedy brought to light the poor conditions that Indian labor works in. Let's see the reason for this. The chief purpose of the company setting up a plant in India was because production was cheaper and profits larger. In India, the companies that come from foreign lands have to pay the laborer much less than what they would in their own countries. The workers here work for longer hours too. The company does not need to incur any additional expenses such as housing etc. Hence, their profit margins are high. Another way of cutting costs is by lowering safety measures. Like in the carbide factory, all safety devices were either malfunctioning or in short supply. Members had been reduced by half. The safety measures training given for six months was now given for 15 days only. The post of the night shift worker was also abolished, thus delaying detection of any problem. When compared to the safety measures followed by the same company in its West Virginia plant in USA, one realizes the low worth of an Indian worker. The plant in USA 
had a computerized warning and monitoring system, while that in Bhopal was dependent on manual gauges and human sensors to detect any leakage of gas. Emergency evacuation plans that existed in Virginia were not present in Bhopal. The difference in the safety standards can be contributed to the heavy unemployment in India, which makes it easy to replace one worker with another. Many are ready to work in place of another, in spite of unsafe conditions and poor wages. The Bhopal gas tragedy pointed out the callousness of the employers towards the safety of the vulnerable workers. Now let us look at the vulnerability faced by workers from different employment sectors with the help of a scenario. Here are four workers from different sectors who explain the problems they face in their work. Hi, I'm Raju, a migrant worker. Earlier, I used to work in Kerala for one of the road construction projects. I have recently migrated to Maharashtra to work for on-site. One of the major problems which I face here is low wages. There is no proper housing provided by the company or even facilities of clean drinking water and sanitation are not available. Hello, my name is Mr. Kiran. I am a factory worker presently working in ABC Petroleum Refinery. Here in this plant, we do not have a proper safety and security measure which has resulted in many industrial accidents. Hi. My name is Miss Geeta. I am a construction laborer. I fall sick constantly due to the hectic nature of work and the dust and grime involved in my work. I expect some minimum health care facilities to be provided which are missing. Hello. I am Mr. Ramesh. I work as an officer in XYZ Private Limited Bank. A major problem in my employment is long hours of work. I rarely find time to interact with my family members. From the above scenarios, we have seen different problems faced by various categories of workers from different industries. These problems are common in most of the sectors in India, which has a serious impact on the working population. Now it is time for a small quiz. In which year did the Bhopal gas tragedy take place? Yes. Any questions, Bita? Anything, anyone? Ma'am? 
मैम अगर कुछ प्रॉब्लम होती है इन वर्कर्स को तो वो किसके पास जाते हैं इनको सॉल्व करवाने के लिए अपने बॉस के पास एनीथिंग एल्स देखो अब इस बात को समझो एक वीडियो और बचा है आखिरी चैप्टर है एसपीएल स्वाहा होने वाला है अगली क्लास में तो एसपीएल में कहीं भी कुछ भी कोई भी प्रॉब्लम है सब उठा के लाओ नेक्स्ट क्लास में क्योंकि वो वीडियो देखने में हमें केवल दस मिनट लगेंगे बाकी के हमारे पास जो बीस पच्चीस मिनट है उसके अंदर हमें जो भी प्रॉब्लम है एसपीएल के हम वो सब डिस्कस करेंगे इज दैट ओके सबको समझ में आ रही है मेरी बात तो बेटा थोड़ा सा ना अभी सारे काम होल्ड पे रखो प्रायोरिटी पे ये काम करो एसपीएल एक बार रीड कर लो टाइम है क्लास कब है हमारी मंडे को है ट्यूसडे को है मैम मंडे मंडे बहुत टाइम है सैटरडे भी है संडे भी है और आज का दिन भी है दो ही क्लास होती है तुम लोगों की तो बाकी सारे काम जरा पीछे रखो पहले मेरा ये काम कर लो तो अपन लोग क्या करेंगे फिर एसपीएल की ऐसे बंद और हम उसे याद करेंगे जब एग्जाम होने वाला हो कंप्लीट कर लो पढ़ लो सारे काम करके रख भी प्रॉब्लम आती है हम लोग उसे डिस्कस ओके यस मैम यस मैम सो दैट विल बी ऑल फॉर टुडे थैंक यू एंड सायरा थैंक यू सायरा मैम Thank you.